Mahalo, sacred angels ascending. It is 8.18 p.m. Eastern Time on 1.8.2020, the Schumann Resonance. 18 hertz today, so we have 18, 18, 18, which is 999. 144 coming in fully today. 144 codes fully activated with these heart activations. It was another crazy day in the wild, wild west. With all things of nature and manifestation, all things are resonance. Resonance is sound, sound frequencies, which become light, and the light waves become the particle, and the particles become form. As these frequencies rise, the resonance raising to what we are calling 5D and beyond, these energies are activating upgrading, downloading the new codes for new earth. And as warriors of the light, way showers, we are embodying these codes, embodying these energies, these frequencies, the resonance of heaven on earth. We're feeling this through our sacred vessel, this holy temple, through the rainbow bridge, this central channel. For this universe is a most sacred symphony. Your body, the sacred temple, is also a symphony of sound. If you could hear every vibration, every frequency of every cell, every organ, you would hear the beautiful sounds of the angelic realm, our higher self, our source energies resonating through the field, through this medium, through this emanating force, this emanating energy, your body, your mind, your spirit, the holy symphony, the holy synchronicity of sacred sound. Aho. Many earthquakes, 143, M1.5 or greater, last 24 hours. Schumann overtone, 18 hertz today. There's been swarms of earthquakes around Puerto Rico. There's been many every hour. The spikes at 3.3. 3.7, 37, the 3.1, and the latest 4.0. Chile, the largest today at 5.2. Been reporting that the rains have been manifesting in sacred Australia. People are posting images of new life that is growing out already of some of the destruction that happened from these fires. The new earth is already being birthed, or the new life. The Tao wastes no time. The way, the Tao, is never in a hurry, but accomplishes everything. The sacred ceremony this weekend, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, at Uluru, the heart of Australia. Many tribes, many nations, many star seeds gathering for this great event, the cosmic consciousness ceremony. The Aborigine, the native tribes from around the world, the rainbow tribes will be gathering at the sacred rock, the sacred stone, Uluru, for several days this weekend with this eclipse, lunar eclipse, full moon, wolf moon, energies coming into the field. The moon tonight is looking amazing in all her glory with the rainbow halo again tonight surrounding the divine goddess, La Luna, the sacred feminine. Today's first transmission through Michael Love the event Earth Alliance Brief. This is from yesterday, 107-2020. A major inbound Earth Alliance transmission is being decoded as we speak. This transmission will be presented to the star seeds of Earth in the coming hours. Delta forces are on high alert at this hour as light forces continue revving up energy levels on the surface. Earth Alliance observatories report a powerful intergalactic shock wave rocked the planet several Earth hours ago, prompting a planetary Earth changes watch with emphasis on increased tectonic activity. The Pleiadians say when the Earth moves, you will know when to move with her. So be in peace as the Earth shakes a bit and have some faith. The old 3D matrix is reeling from every angle tonight as super high vibrational light clashes with the lower world. The old world is in distress and is giving way, dear ones, on every front. Remember that old things must pass away before a new and better thing comes. 
Know that all is well and as it should be in this great time. When two dimensions clash and when great change comes, there is a bit of chaos. You will see these things occur before the new earth comes into view. The Earth Alliance confirms again that Operation Masterpiece is fully operational and all systems are tango green light go for the very real dawning of the age of Aquarius. A historical celestial alignment is set to occur in the heavens to mark the time of humanity's grand ascension event. Star seeds all across the globe are reporting increased strong ascension symptoms at this hour. Take good care of you right now and let us know what ascension symptoms you may be experiencing as this powerful cosmic energy comes in. Hang on and don't forget to breathe. Stand by for upcoming Earth Alliance transmission. Godspeed. Michael and the Pleiadians. And from Kwana Michaela, Energy Report, 8th January, Great Central Sun, Solar Coating for Highest Heart Activation. We have vast influx of solar light particles from the great central sun plus ruby ray. Breathe in, golden sun, love wholeness, Christ consciousness through the golden heart. Vast influx stream, solar light particles encoding comes down from the great central sun to merge with earth's crystalline grid and penetrates into our divine mechanisms of highest heart expansion and activation it can be felt more physically than in the short period of time we are in 2020 where in the moments many could experience direct physical senses related to heart area common sensations include warmth from soft warmth till heat in the chest center can include also solar plexus area physical warm sense inside chest that it tended to amplify when many can get impressions that this warmth crosses physical boundaries of their body and simultaneously is present inside and outside. Warmth and heat can move, amplify, reduce volume size. It's as if breath in its expression rhythm. Note the breath. Observe this inner movement. Listen in your own sensations. Don't rush anything. Allow yourself to get used to this. Inner energy, this is part of you. This is also you. Bring your awareness to your heart center. Dive in it. Balance this energy with your breath. With intention to expand, to fill your fibers, molecules, cells, DNA, systems, fields, crystalline light body, physical vessel, the entire you. Oversee this, your energy, and dissolve into it. Merge with it. Bathe your beingness in this highest heart light source light within this can be spectacular individual experiences for everyone use this potent moment for more opening of your heart space heart awareness god self unity consciousness divine trinity within create revelation of who you are divine one elevate yourself nothing outside of you can give to you you have what you already have inside you if you want to feel what is divinity, what it means to be source, what is highest facet of love, what is to be one with all that is, there it is, you, your vessel, and your most deep dive you ever had within. If you allow it to happen, you will come back like a new version of you and will see and feel the world around you and those around you with brand new eyes. You will then understand. You will then understand why there is so much about the heart and heart awareness because you will be reached and touching it within yourself. Only through the I am feeling you gain your understanding. Your mind will not interfere when it's merged with your heart intelligence. Additional senses or pressure in the chest area as if something needs to be open to re be released. To changing from sensitivity from bliss to tears. Some can experience uncomfortable, painful, sometimes sick, tingling sensations, advanced heartbeat rate, overwhelming positive expressions to share love with everyone and everything. Some may feel tiredness, request for rest and integration of solar coding. I love you. Let these words that are being spoken penetrate the self. Let these words bring healing. For all decades of amnesia, you were in 3D karmic cycles. 
Let these words transform what was not forgiven. Let these words absorb low self-worth, fears, anger, hate, jealousy, ego mind structures, belief, and more. Love, I am. I am love. New formula for rejuvenation of divine humans. With loving expansion as illumination of Christ consciousness, solar star within. I love you all and bless you all. From Quana Michaela. From Elizabeth Peru. Are you finding that energy is on the rise? All is accelerating now? After a potentially slower start to the new year. With only 48 hours until the full moon lunar eclipse. Sleep is light on you and you are ready to expand. Beloved one, this is a pivotal moment of January. The eclipses won't be back until mid-year, so let's make the most of this current cosmic opportunity. From ElizabethPeru.com And I'd like to share this meditation for the 11th and 12th of January. And this is through the Earth Alliance and COBRA. There's many other meditations going on this weekend around this realm. This one is called the Age of Aquarius Activation. It will be a worldwide meditation Saturday the 11th, the Saturday and Sunday the 12th, depending on where you're located. The 11th will be at 10, 11 p.m. Los Angeles time or 11, 11 p.m. Denver time. On the 12th at 1, 11 a.m. Eastern time in New York, time london 6 11 a.m on the 12th 7 11 a.m in paris 8 11 in cairo 2 11 in beijing and taipei 3 11 in tokyo and 5 11 in sydney so this is the gateway energy the age of aquarius gateway and the intention is to activate the light workers around this realm to usher in the new age of aquarius this will be a worldwide synchronized meditation to usher in the age of Aquarius, the age where the qualities and energy of the goddess will finally prevail on planet Earth. As stated by 2012 portal, the period between January 10th and 12th is the most powerful astrological time since the Grand Cross Eclipse on August 11th, 1999, and has a potential to create a portal through which we will unify our consciousness and trigger a smooth transition to the new golden age of Aquarius. This activation helps the light forces to ground the energy of light on the surface of the planet to finally trigger the process that will start the long-awaited age of Aquarius. The number of people doing this activation is the single most influential factor within the power of the surface human population for speeding up the process. I'll post a link in the description below this video for more information on these meditations. So this meditation, the suggested time is 20 minutes. And the instructions are you begin by using your own technique to bring you to a relaxed state of consciousness. Then you state your intent to use this meditation as a tool to co-create the trigger that will start the age of Aquarius. You can visualize a pillar of brilliant white light emanating from the cosmic central sun, then being distributed to central suns of all galaxies in this universe. Then visualize this light entering through the galactic central sun, then through our galaxy, then entering our solar system and going through all beings of light inside our solar system and then through all beings on planet Earth and also through your body to the center of the Earth. Visualize this light transmuting all remaining darkness on earth, healing all inequalities, erasing all poverty, and bringing abundance to all humanity. Visualize a new grand cosmic cycle of the age of Aquarius, beginning bringing pure light, love, and happiness to all beings on earth. Victory of the Light. And today from the Zolkin Times, Yellow Spectral Sun, spectral is the name for the number 11, and its keywords are liberate, dissolve, and release. The 11th day of a wave spell is always a challenge to the wave spell itself. We are in the white dog wave spell, and today we are liberated from that agenda. So if you have been doggedly determined to get something done, 
Today, you may have to give up the bone. Today is the yellow sun, which represents enlightenment, universal fire, and life. The yellow sun has been the challenge for this dog wave spell. And so people born on yellow sun have been having a tough time. Today shall bring some relief. For the rest of us, the light will shine on. Something previously unforeseen, and this enlightenment is very liberating. Knowledge is power. From Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow Spectral Sun, Kin 180. 8th January 2020, 812020, equal 814, equal 13, equal 4. 8. Abundance Infinity Flow, 13. Cosmic Consciousness, Goddess Expansion, 4. Angelic Frequency, Form, Structure, Foundation, Kin 180 equal 9, destiny, service, compassion, humanity, grace, liberating our light. Day 11 in the white dog wave spell of unconditional love, loyalty, devotion, service, friendship, and faith. We are uncovering and healing all that separates us from source love in order to be love. Today we are liberating our light. We are liberating the love within us through shining our light independently and dissolving all that is not light and love. Tone of creation, spectral is the eleventh tone of creation. It operates in the emotional realm, and its actions are that of dissolving, releasing, and liberating. So today is all about emotional release. Allow that energy in motion to be expressed and dissolved. Allow the tears, the laughter, the joy to be expressed. No holding back. Connect with your higher wisdom, giving you the intelligence to carve a new path of liberation. This is a very powerful opportunity to release core wounding of old ancient ancestral patterns and cycles, choosing to release and liberate all that no longer serves our well-being. These are very powerful energies at work to create final closure, dissolving all impediments to you finally claiming your true sovereignty. Tone 11 symbolizes a gateway in polarity, inviting you to step through into a new, more divine reality in your perfected, golden, Christed body. Conscious self and higher self guide, the yellow sun. Ahau is shining extra bright today as we have double sun power. Yellow sun qualities include illumination, universal fire, cosmic Christ consciousness, Buddha wisdom, bliss, union, wholeness, unconditional love, ecstasy, enlightenment, and ascension. I am that, I am, I am oneness with all that is. Today's question is what do I need to dissolve and release in order to liberate more love and light and rise as a sovereign being? Divine blessings for releasing all shackles and rising from the ashes to liberate your light. Kin 180 Yellow Spectral Sun, the mantra, the code for today is, I dissolve in order to enlighten. Releasing life, I seal the matrix of universal fire. With the spectral tone of liberation, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. This energy of liberation and letting go, releasing the practice in Buddhism we call non-attachment, We realize that of the simulation, of the illusion, of maya, the matrika, is temporary, is changing. That which is real never changes. Only the false changes. Only fear dies. Alan Watts would like to teach that we do not fear death because you cannot die because you were never born. You just don't remember who you are. If you are in doubt, fear, conflict, programmed by the separation simulation, then this is a state of illusion, of forgetfulness, amnesia. In this moment of remembrance, of reconnection, relinking, remembering, we realize that there truly is nothing to attain. The I am presence that is here now is eternal, is perfect, clear light, pure awareness. And with these full moon energies coming in and these solar consciousness activations, you should be experiencing moments of divine clarity, clear thoughts, clear visions, 
clear waters, clarity of mind, body, spirit, all is being revealed in this dream, the dream within the dreams. This is the time of revelation. The Alpha, the Omega, we are at the Omega point, zero point of the divine spiral, the divine vortex, and the still center of infinite light and infinite life. Let us know what you're experiencing in the comments below this video. Let us know what you're seeing, what you're feeling, your thoughts, your visions, what you see for New Earth, what you would like to see manifest in this divine age of Aquarius, the golden age, the New Earth, the pure land. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe by clicking the button underneath this video, the subscribe button, and click the little bell next to subscribe for notifications on future uploads. I'd like to also thank everyone joining us on the mission for the Healing Retreat Center in Ecuador. You can learn more about this on primedisclosure.com. Click Dow Day Ecuador at the top of the page. Our vision is showing us the retreat and sustainable community in the foothills of the Andes with a sacred cave, holy natural hot springs, and waterfall. If you know of this land for sale, please let us know. Send us an email to info at primedisclosure.com. Have a beautiful and blessed day, night, and eternity. Here now, namaste.